Shalom. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah be to Jesus. Please, as soon as you join, you do the necessary. As soon as you join, you do the necessary for me. As soon as you join, you do the necessary for me, please. As soon as you join, you invite a sister, you invite a brother. Hallelujah. Today is the final day. I know we are blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, the final day of our three days fasting and prayers. We are blessed this day. We are blessed this season. We are blessed. Hallelujah. Happy new month to you all. This is the month of December. Yes, the month of December. December is a Latin word, which means number 10. December. The meaning of dism. Number 10. It's a Latin word. It's a Latin word, which means number 10. The 10th month. The 10th month. Yes. December is a month that we need not to joke with it. <laughs> December is not a month to be last. Many see this month to be a month of jubilation. Many see this month to be a month of celebration, but this is a month that if you don't take care, the word 31st, you will not see it. Yes. People manage to cross 31st. They go and do the crossover on the first, second, they die. Yes. The devil is so clafty. The devil, he is so clafty. You may think that, oh, I have crossed over to, I have seen 2022 on the second, on the third, even on the first, on the first, a new year, that is the new year, people meet accident and die. Yes. Yes. So during December, we have to pray. We have to pray ahead of January. When we enter the month of December, we have to pray ahead of January. Hallelujah. I want us to study the word of God a little before we pray. As we have been doing uh, ever since we started our program, today is the final day and we have been speaking uh, from the book of Matthew chapter 3, verses number 8. He said, bring forth fruit meat of repentance. Hallelujah. Bring forth fruit meat for, uh, of repentance. All what God wants us to do is to repent, is to begin to bear good fruit. As you have been speaking from the day one till now, we should begin to bear what? Good fruit. We should begin to bear good fruit. Today, I want us to go to a different dimension that many pastors do not teach the church. Many people do not have time to preach about that to the church. I want us to go to that dimension. Hallelujah. Because it's something that I have been seeing many Christians find it difficult to do it. We find it difficult to do it. Many of us, we are good in criticizing people. We are good in, oh, questioning people. Me, I'm the type of people, I, I'm the type of person, I don't like personal attack. Personally, what you wear on your own, maybe you don't have. Maybe you do not have. Because I've been in that situation before. When I became born again, yesterday I was telling you, I, I used to have only one straight gun. And I saw this word that the apostle was talking about in the book of John chapter 2. I saw it in the eyes, in the face of many Christians. It is very difficult for us to do. It is very, very difficult for us to do. When you study the Bible, the apostle James was speaking. James chapter 2, verses number, I think, 13 to 14. Oh, sorry. James chapter 2, verses number 13 to 14. Open your Bible there for me. James chapter 2 verses number 13 to uh, 15. I read, it said, for he shall have judgment without mercy, that had showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiced against judgment. Verse 14, it said, what do it profit, my brethren? Though a man say he had faith, and have no works, can faith save him? 
It's a question. He say a man says he had faith, but he do not have any work. Can the faith of that man alone save him? I hear many people say, oh, Abraham was a father of faith. What made Abraham the father of faith? He was a man of sacrifice. Abraham was a man that he can let it go. When you study the Bible, the day that his brother's son, Lord, was struggling with his, his head men over a place to feed, he said, I am the elder. I am your father. But I have given you. Choose where you want. If it was we and I will open our eyes to choose the better one and give the wrong one to the child. But Abraham, because he was he was a man or he had a ministry of that sacrificing, giving from wholeheartedly, that made him the man of faith. How many of you that are struggling to get the fruit of the womb will agree to sacrifice your only child? How many of you that are struggling or how many of you love your only son that will agree to sacrifice him? But Abraham did it out of it. He did it because he loved God. He did it because he was ever ready to give his whole, everything. So the apostle was asking people, that you people claim I'm a faith, I'm a man of faith, I'm a woman of faith, I'm a lady of faith. A faith without these. What is What does it profit a man when he has faith without these? Let me read to the end. The verse number 15. It said, if a brother or a sister be naked, listen well, if a brother or a sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say to them, say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What do it profit? Hmm. This scripture, I saw practical with my rear eye, the year 2019. When I lose everything, when I was left with one clothing, when you are there and you come and preach without one clothing, oh, <laughs> believers in faith will come and write, please, don't wear this kind of clothing. A child of God is not supposed to wear this. Meanwhile, within my heart, that was the only crow that, that was left for me. In churches, many of you, you are good in criticizing many of them. It is quite we stop criticizing them, but we rather put the knees for the body to them. Many of you, you see a sister, that person just became born again. He just, they just won him from the, from the prostitute camp. She was on the way to prostitution. The preacher preached and it touches her heart and followed the preacher to the church. You didn't go to that evangelism. You did not go and win that person. Somebody went and won that person and bring that person to church. She came Sunday, the first week, with the same top blue, red skirt <laughs> as my own. The following week, she came with the same red skirt with a white top. The third week, she came with the same red skirt with a, 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 the blue one that she started. Understand that she don't have. Instead of you going to her to tell her, wear long skirt, buy one or take one out of the money, the money you have in your closet, give to her and see if the following week she will not wear it. Give to her and see if the following week that person will not change the clothing. I know many people they have it, but uh, they, they are advertising for the devil, and I, I, I understand that. But I'm talking about people that have the zeal to serve God, but they do not have clothing to, to wear. Do you know what encourages me to come and beg for second hand clothing? We went to one of the villages. When you meet a young guy and you ask him, do go to church, he will tell you, I, 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 I wish I can go every Sunday, but you know, I can't be taking only one shirt and one, one trousers. I don't have money to buy. I don't have clothing. I wish I get clothing to go to church. Because of what they will wear to church, they don't feel happy to go to church. 
So if the church will wake up and begin to crowd the people, begin to do as the apostles used to do, the church will be full. The church will be full. Many pastors today have stopped doing the, the work of their calling, what God calls them to do. Because of competition. Because of competition, they were the people called to crowd the naked people in the street to gather them to come and listen to the word of God. They were the people to go to the street to feed them, for them to feel that, oh, in Christ Jesus, there is unity, there is love, there is this, there is that. But we are busy building big auditorium. We are busy building big auditorium, but caring for the body of the people, we have left it. Let us visit the days of the apostle, where they will sell their clothing to help those that have just received the gospel. They will sell the little they have to help those in need. They will share their clothes with those that are, that, that are naked, that have accepted the gospel. Because you can tell me, somebody that is in prostitution, when you win that person, that person can get a long gun to come to, to church every day. That person will definitely come with that clothing that she used to be, she used to wear to go to prostitution because she don't have. And we sit outside, examiners, invigilators. We are mocking them. Oh, this church, see this lady there, see what she's wearing, see what, let us draw closer to them and let us change that clothing on them. This is the gospel. This is the gospel. This is the gospel. Instead of you going from timeline to timeline, page to page, to mark people's clothing, to, to show them how they should wear, let us go and sew for them. Let us begin to sow to cover their nakedness. Let us begin to sow to show them the style, the modest way of dressing. Instead of criticizing them, we are using our mouth to drive away souls. We are using our lips to drive away souls. We are using our deeds to drive away souls. Not everybody is worthy or not everybody is okay as you are okay. Not everybody is okay. Not everybody have as you have. So it is time we begin to use our deeds to win so for Christ Jesus. It is time we do the things that praises our maker. The things that apostles used to do. They are these. Let us go. I quite remember the year 2013. There was a young man. Their house was, they, they are our neighbors. Their house was at the back of our house. And there was fire outbreak in that house. And this young man is an instrumentalist in one of the biggest church in Kumasi that I know. This boy, this young man had been moving from one church to the other to pray instrument for them. To pray instrument. This, this young man, there was fire outbreak in the house. He lose everything. He lose everything, including his shirt, his bossa, everything. For three days, this young man was in the same clothing. The same clothing, the same top, the same trousers. I, I, I peeped my eye through the windows. He was seated in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in front of the house. It is already damaged. He was seated there. So I heard a voice saying, take your husband's shirt and give to him. My husband was not there that time. I just took his shirt and I gave to him. And I took one trousers and one of his slippers. And I gave to this young man. Immediately I gave to him. He went and took his bath. He took his bath, changed himself and wore my husband's clothes that I gave to him. So I realized that, oh my God, this man was finding it difficult to bath. After the, after this thing happened to him, because he doesn't have any buster shorts. He doesn't have any clothing. He doesn't have anything to change. And the church is there. They heard it. Nobody. It didn't touch the heart of anybody to take his clothing, to take his shirt, to take his buster, to visit the, the life of this man. Yes. So it is quite time we do the things that God loves most. We have stopped using our deeds to win souls because of our greediness and 
our selfishness. We are all seeking for our own. We are seeking for huge amount of money in our bank account. We are seeking to have the biggest auditorium. But we are not seeking to use our deeds to win souls. We are not seeking to use our deeds to touch lives. Let us wake up. Let us wake up. Let us wake up. This is the teachings that the people need. This is what we need to teach the people for them to know. When I studied the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, they did this so. You know, today it is because we have thrown the scripture away. And we are busy declaring, declaring prophetic, prophetic, prophetic. So the right teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, it is missing. It is missing. That is why on the first day, I said 95% Christians today are on their way to hell. They are on their way to hell. Yes, because the deeds that qualify them to enter the narrow gate, they are not doing it. The days that qualify them to be called saint, they have rejected it. Your pastor is busy building the biggest auditorium. Come and see Muslims. Come and see Islam. They are building schools freely. People should go to school freely for them to teach them Quran. They are building hospitals freely. People should go freely. Today, the church today will build a school and the poor person cannot attend that school. Christian churches today, their schools, they pay school fees in dollars. They pay school fees in pounds. The poor person can never attend that school. Many of the churches that we attend, that have schools, how many of the poor people is able to afford to enter that school? The church members, their children are out of that school. But and also know it is their offering, it is their titles, it is their dues, it is their contribution, it is their sweat that build that school. You see, the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, that scripture that Jesus Christ said, that day I will tell many people, depart from me, I know you not. And they will cry, they will lament and say, Elohim, Yahweh, Rabbi, didn't we use your name to do miracles? Didn't we preach your name? Didn't we heal your name? Didn't we do this using your name? He will tell them, depart from me, I know you not. You worker of iniquity. You worker of iniquity. He said, if a brother or a sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace. Go in peace. Be ye warmed and filled. How can they be filled? How can they be warmed? When they have no money to buy blankets. How can they be filled? When they had nothing, how, how, when God is up there and he looks down, he looks down to see us. He doesn't see us as children of God. Though. He doesn't see us as people that deserve for his kingdom. He doesn't. Because our deeds doesn't qualify us to be called children of God. Our deeds doesn't qualify us in a, in this generation men that have that have bred through financially will never help a young woman without requesting for sex they will sleep with that woman they will they will they will have an intimacy with that young lady their daughter's age because the, that girl needs their help they will sleep with her the man is a deacon hmm. he's a presiding elder He's an apostle. He's an archbishop. He will never help that young lady, that beautiful lady, free of charge. Take for that. Give and take. You give me the thing, I give you the money. Oh, daddy, the girl is calling you daddy. Please, my school fees. Daddy, please help me. Daddy, please help me. Daddy, please, I'm in my final year. Daddy, I know you have it. Not that you don't have it. Help me. He will tell you, yes, I have it. But on one condition, 
take my card, meet me in this hotel. Meet me in this guest house. Meet me here. You will never give to that young lady unless you sleep with her. God is watching. God is watching. These are the people in churches with, the, with a big suit. Big suit. Their hands are up. I declare unprecedented favor. I receive it. You think God is to be mocked? You think God is to be mocked? What are you receiving? What have you sowed that you want to reap? Did you sow with expectation? You sow, you gave to that lady because you knew you get her to sleep with her. You did not do to help God from your heart. You didn't meet that poor person to say, I want to give to you from my heart. I'm blessing you. When you break through, go and bless somebody. When you break through financially, go and help somebody. La la. They have to enter you. They have to enter you. Before they buy that car for you, they have to enter you. Ladies today will never help a man, a young person, without using them as a maid. Mm -hmm. We help them all right, but we want to use them as a doormat to tremble upon them. You are not doing it for God. You are not doing it for God. You are not doing it for God. Let us begin to do things that heaven will applaud us. Let us begin learn to do things that God will be happy. God will feel happy. Yes. Many of you, from January to December, there are so many clothing and so many shoes. It is rotten in your closets. Shoes are rotten there. Your clothing, it is so small. You don't have anybody to give. It is rotten there. The church needs you. The church of Christ, they need you. Let us wake up. Let us rise up. Let us do the things that pleases God. Let us do the things that pleases God. Yesterday, I was talking to you about doing something to leave a legacy in the heart of somebody. Leaving a legacy in the heart of somebody. Do it. Whenever you are supposed to help, help it out. We were being trained from a background that when we go to school, we used to walk three miles to go to school, three miles to return home. On your way coming, when you meet an elderly man or an elderly woman with a burden or something that she is carrying, maybe she went to the farm or he went to the farm and he's with firewood. You have to meet this man and carry the firewood. You have to lead, follow that old woman, the old man, until she take you to the house. You put the load there and you go back to your father's house or your parent's house. And that old woman will say, God bless you. May you live long, my daughter. May you live long. We were trained in, 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 in a background that when we rise up from the early in the morning and we are going to school, we will greet all the elderly that we meet. Anybody that we meet on the way, we will greet them until we reach school. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, daddy. Good morning, uncle. Good morning, sister. From as we start the journey, that three miles, we will greet until we end. Do you know the reason why they taught us that? That when there is something on the way, they are the one coming from that place. They will tell you, my daughter, there is a car that has broken down there. There is an accident in there. Please drive slowly. Or please don't walk on that way. Pass this way. They will show you the way. You greet them. You were trained. To let the elderly sit for we, the younger ones, to stand in a bus. There is no way we will see our, ourselves sitting for an elderly person to stand within your head. Your conscience will start judging you instantly. Because that is not how you were trained. You were from a background that when you offend, a stranger can come and advise you.
That is how Africa, we have that, that leg, you have that legacy, we have that reputation. Everywhere you go, it is nowadays generation that they are destroying the, the reputation of Africans everywhere. But those that are from a well-trained home, when you meet her, you know you've met an African woman. And it is something that people know. People that have once lived with good Africans. When they see you, they see your deeds, they can ask you, are you from Africa? Yes. We have been trained the ways of God. Our ancestors, they never knew much about Christianity. But the laws of nature is what guided them. That is what made them live long life. They live long life. They would never envy anybody. They would never envy. My grandfather used to tell me those days, you put your money there, you go and come and meet your money on the ground. When your money fall down, you will go and return and come and find your money. If, you, if somebody will take it, that person will take it and sit at the roadside. The same place that it fell, that person will never move an inch. Today, when your phone is in your pocket, somebody is pulling it. When you are, you, are, you are on phone, having a conversation with your children, somebody will slap you to take the phone away. This is the reason why we are not growing long. This is the reasons why we are not living long in our days. Long life have departed from our tabernacle because our deeds doesn't, doesn't qualify us to live long. Our deeds doesn't qualify us to live long. Our greediness and selfishness, the church have refused to teach people, to teach people to seek the well-being of others. Rather than seeking our well-being, that is the words from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said we should seek the well-being of others. We shouldn't all the time or always seek the well-being of ourselves. We shouldn't be greedy. We shouldn't be selfish. He shouldn't be selfish. We shouldn't be selfish. Say, bring forth fruit meat of repentance. Begin to change your ways. If your church is not changing you, change your church. If your church is not teaching you the ways of God, change your church. Don't sit and die in that deadly church. Ghost church. There are churches in the sight of God. God sees it as a ghost church. You waste your time. You waste your energy. You waste your money or in that church. Nothing good will come. When you die today, there is no eternity. Because nobody is teaching you the ways of God in that church. Nobody is teaching you the ways of God. Many of the tragedies and many of the things that we go through, we, br we bring it upon ourselves. It is our deeds. It is something we sow and it grows for us. When it is time for us to reap, we want to attribute to witch witches and wizards. When we sow, when we are sowing iniquity, we don't care that we are sowing iniquity, that one day we are going to reap it. We sow it comfortably. And when it is time for us to reap, we'll be blaming the witches and wizards. Oh, the witches are doing it. The, the wizards are doing this. Oh, my father's altar. They attribute you to all this. Meanwhile, it is your deeds. That's why I keep telling you, life, whatever you do not want to, you do not want to reap, do not sow it. What you do not want to reap, don't sow it. Do not sow it. Yes. Do not sow it. Don't sow it. Sow only what you'll be comfortable to reap. Bring forth fruit meat of repentance. Matthew chapter 3 verses number 8. Say, bring forth therefore fruit meat of repentance. Verse 9 say, and think not to say within yourself, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Verse 10, he say, and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewing down and cast into the fire. Every tree 
that do not bring forth good fruit will be cut down into the fire. What fruit are you bearing? What fruit are you bearing? Are you bearing a good fruit? Or you are bearing a corrupt fruit? What fruit are you bearing? Today, ask yourself, what fruit are you bearing? What did you do today? From morning to now, count the deeds, the things that you did, the percentage of goods in it, and the percentage of evil that you did within the day. The good or the evil you did within the day. Where it? Can the good things overcome the evil that you did today? The gossiping? The evil imagination? That evil thought that came in your mind? What you had? The conversation you had? Just weigh it. Did you do good today? Did you do good today? Just today. If God is coming today and say, I have forgiven you from your childhood to now, only today did you do good that you prefer or you deserve. You can stand and say, God, today I did this, I did this, I have this, I have that, I did this thing. Can you account from morning to night it was gossiping? Gossiping. Gossiping. Evil deeds. Evil deeds. Stop deceiving yourself. That I'm a Christian. I belong to this church. That's what the Bible said. It said, don't say. Stop saying. We have Abraham as our father. Stop saying, I belong to this church. Stop saying, I belong to this denomination. Say, I'm a saint. I'm a child of God. I'm somebody that the blood of Jesus have ransomed. If you are able to stand and speak like that, you qualify to enter the narrow gates. You qualify to be called a child of God. You qualify the favor of God. You qualify divine protection. You qualify divine elevation. You qualify every good thing in the kingdom of God. I have heard, I have heard people, as soon as we enter the month, People start their fake declaration. People start their false declaration. I declare this month, you will never share tears. This month, you will never do this. Teach the people the things that they will do. That will never let them share tears. Tell them the things that they do. That will let them share tears. Because many of the things that we go through, it is not witches that have been doing all oh. God said, I kill and I give life. Have you forgotten that scripture? He said, I kill and I give life. He kill and he give life. Sometimes God can strike you if you try to be a rebellious person. He will strike you. He will set fire in everything that you have. You will be left with one. You will go through a challenge or something will happen in your life that nobody will help you. You have to run to God. Not everything that you are going through that it is which is so. Sometimes God wants you to just repent. If you try to be stubborn, he will strike you. He will strike you. And when God begins to strike you, it will start from your marriage. It will start from something that you cherish most. If you cherish your children, it will start from your children. God doesn't care taking away all your children just to get you for you to do his work. Let me tell you, yes. He doesn't care. When he sent Jonah, Jonah in the Bible, to the city of Nineveh, Jonah went into the boat. God didn't care about the number of people in the boat. He wants that person. He want he wanted job, so you know before, before, or uh, or uh, 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 before you think that what I'm going through it is witches, it is wizard. I want you to assess. I want you to ask yourself: Is it that God have given me a mission? Is it that God have given me something to do on earth that I have refused to do, or is it that? God wants me to stop doing something that I am repeating to do, that he is striking me. Because when a storm begins in your life, you have to sit down and assess it. 
When you start going through from one challenges to the other, you must sit down and assess what is causing these challenges, what is bringing this problem, what is bringing this storm. When you dream and you see a storm, a heavy storm coming your way, as, as soon as you wake up, assess yourself and ask yourself, am I supposed to do something that I have not done? Am I supposed to uh, go somewhere that I have refused to go, that God is planning to strike me? Because when God is coming to strike you, remember his strike, he started his start with a storm. He start with a storm. So the people that were in the boat with Jonah, if they were not wise people to console their oracle, to find what, why this thing is happening, to know that mm, this is a man. That God has assigned for him to go somewhere and he's running away. You know, some of the accident that occurs, many people, it is one person. It is one person in that car. Is it that God is striking that person or the devil is striking that person? And it will affect the, all the people in it. So when you start going through something, assess it. Go down your knee, assess yourself. Assess yourself. Yes. Assess it. Am I supposed to stop doing something that I'm still doing? Am I supposed to go somewhere to preach that I have refused? Am I supposed to go somewhere to visit orphans that I have refused? Sometimes many of you, God speaks to you. God speaks to you, and when he speaks, when he speaks, he gives you instruction to, to, uh, to uh, like, like a detail or a direction that you do, that you'll be able to come out of that problem. If you don't do as he has showed you, no amount of prayers can change it. That is why many of you, as soon as you call me and tell me your dream, I tell you, God is telling you, go and do as you saw it. Go and do this. And that problem that is coming will never come. Yes. That problem that is coming will never come. Some of you, you see a dream of your son or your husband dead. And at the same dream, you see yourself feeding many people. God wants you to touch lives and it to save your son or it to save your husband. He has given you solution. No amount of prayers will pray and change. If you try, if you say, oh, I don't want to do it. I just want to, I just, I just want to, uh, I just want you to pray and cancel it. I can never pray and cancel because I'm not higher than my master. When my master declare a thing, the Bible says, who is he? Who declare or who commanded for it to come to pass when God have not authorized? Yes. Yes, I'm no more than God. So when God says, go and touch, go and do donation, go and do sacrifice, and this program will go, and you want me to pray and cancel, I will pray all right. It will never cancel. That thing will happen to you. Let me, let me share my own, my own, my last testimony. <laughs> let me just share to you. And I bring my message to an end, and we begin to pray. Early 2018, I was there and one of our puppets, I personally had that dream. I had that dream. And I went to that man of God and I said, please, can you interpret this dream for me? He interpreted the dream and he told me the meaning of that dream. God is saying he wants to use you. And if you do not avail yourself for God to use you, God is going to destroy everything around you. I say you are a liar. I didn't let this man of God finish. I started rebuking. I cancel it. Holy Ghost fire. I cancel it. Just imagine. <laughs> so the man of God was so quiet because he's so arrogant in me that time. He's so arrogant in me that I was the kind of person that I will reiterate everything that you say. I started rebuking. Holy Ghost fire. I cancel. I see if it is that man of God that, I, that is bringing that thing upon me. How I was, how I, I was, I was reversing and sending back to the sender. He was so quiet on phone. He didn't say anything and I dropped the phone and I just move on. I move on. After six months, it started. It started. Because that time, I, I, my head was big. I have started building my own house. 
My head was big. Very soon I will hold a key. I will be a landlord. Mm -hmm. You know, that arrogant. It was inside my head. <laughs> I never knew. <laughs> Even that, that thing that they have taken video of me, for me, it's not for me. That building that they've taken video to make me feel proud and arrogant as some people, when they have two-bedroom apartment, they want the whole world to know that they are rich. They start pumping. That thing was in me that time. <laughs> so, in the middle of the year, all started, it was like in a queue. The day, the time I discovered that, the two years of suffering, there is nothing, even not one dollar, not one CD. They've chopped all my money. Within three months, I lose my husband. Another woman came for it. <laughs> Another woman came for my marriage. You know, September. September, I was there and the Lord opened my eye. My final ten, my twins, they were dead floating on top of a flooded river. I wake up and I say, Lord, forgive me. I surrender. Master, I surrender. Use me wherever you want me to go. God is saying, mm -mm, I'm not ready. I'm not, I have not finished with you yet. Wait. I have not finished. I vow to God that please let these children live. I will save you. You know, God wanted me to know that he is the one that can kill and can give life. My children, I was running from one hospital to the other. One hospital to the other. One year. All this while, I was not able to discover what actually God wants me to do. So for I just wake up in the morning, I come on Facebook, I don't know what to do. Because I didn't get anybody to lead me. As I've gotten time to teach you so many things, how you build in Christ, I didn't get any anywhere. Whenever platform I go, I decree, I declare. My soul didn't want that declaring that thing. I need somebody that will teach me the steps. Somebody that will teach me how I will please God. Somebody that will teach me the ways of God. Somebody that will just sit me down and say, you know, you have to fast. You have to read this scripture. You have to take this Bible verse. When you go through challenges, take this Bible verse. Read it this time. Meditate it. And back on a fasting. Do this. I needed a director just to direct me in the ways of God. I was finding it difficult to get one. I was finding it difficult. I didn't know what to do. I was moving from one online platform to the other. One online platform to the other. Everywhere I go, those that have anointed their eyes that they can see and see the color of your pants, they will tell you, God will take you to the world. God, God is going to use you, but they didn't show me how. How should I start it? How? So one day, I was crying. I was kneeling. Because from September... To the year 2020, 2020, from 2019, yeah, 2019, late 2019, that I was able to discover so many things and understand so many dreams that God wants me to preach. God wants me to win souls. God, because anytime I sleep, I will see myself pulling out this catfish, catfish, catfish. I didn't know the meaning of that catfish. I didn't know the meaning of that fish. Because when you go through many platforms that they interpreted dreams, they will tell you fish is wealth, fish is money. So my head was big. I will become a billionaire. Mm. I will become a billionaire. And all this while, my twins, one or four sick this week, suffer for two weeks. As soon as the one gets up, the another one is there. If I have to buy broad three, I have to buy six. Within that month, because after two weeks, this one will also go for another blood. So it was like I was being tossed from one realm to the other. So one day, I, uh, I, the Muslim, you know, when it was Ramadan, that 31 days fasting, that is where I started fasting with Muslims. I said, I'm going to fast with you people. I'm not going to ask anything, God. I just want you to show me what you want me to do. Just show me what you want me to do. So I started fasting with them. You know, when you alone, when you are alone and you are doing fasting, it is difficult. But when it is in a group, it is easy. So we sleep, we wake up, I do my work, they eat, I eat. And I started. 
I started. I started. I started. You know, when I discovered what God wants me to do, I said to the glory of God, my children have never gone to hospital again. I said to the glory of God, when I started doing what God wants me to do, that money that I was wasting in hospital, wasting in buying medicine, when I go and put the blood for these children, after three months, they will lose blood. I don't know what was drinking blood from my children. I don't know what was sucking the blood from my children. I never knew it was God that was sending all this storm on my way just for me to dedicate or surrender everything. And all this while, I was, you know, I love the world, though. The world was sweet to me. The world was sweet to me. As I was telling you yesterday, when God gives you little beauty, it is problem, oh. It is very, very problem. Because when you, if you want to focus, this man will come. You are beautiful. I want to be with you. Your mind changed from God. Mm? Our maturity in Christ, it is very difficult. A man will come and deceive you and you stop whatever you're doing for God and you'll be following that man. For three months, before when God starts striking you, you open your eye and you come back. So many of you, the storm in your way, it is God. It is God himself. Not all of them is witches and wizards. When the storm comes and when one problem, when problem starts and it's multiplying, it starts from your marriage, it goes to your children, it goes to your finances, my dear, it is not witches. It is God that is striking you because maybe he has given you a, a, a mission that you have refused to fulfill. Do you know the reason why many men of God, they go strike them with stroke, go and sleep in the house. The anger of God is what is striking many of the men of God for them to, some will die prematurely, some will faint and die on puppet, some will get stroke and be inside the room because you are irrelevant in the sight of God. He will remove you for somebody who will do what pleases him to come and take the, the, the seat. He will remove you from there. He will paralyze you. He will make you feel bonded because he prays you. He put, he, he, he prays you in that position to, for a purpose you have refused. You have refused. God chose you for a purpose. You have refused to fulfill that purpose. It is you and your immediate family. You and your husband, your daughter is rising, uh, riding a Range Rover. Your wife is riding a Bentley. Your son is it, no. It is you and your immediate in your immediate family. God will strike you, man of God. God will strike you. He will strike you. That is why your some of your pastors they don't finish well. They don't finish well. When God strike them, also they don't die. God will never let you die. He will take away death. You will suffer and suffer and suffer and suffer and suffer. You, he will take you to the position that poor people are. To know how hardship is. To know how difficult this is. To know how. When you have no helper in your life. How it feels. You go there. You will go there. So it's better you do the things of God. You do things that pleases God. It's better you let it go of your selfishness. It's better you let it go of your greediness. It's better you let it go of the big name that you want to carry on earth. Carry a big legacy. Legacy that will be remembered. That people will do research. Instead of building the biggest auditorium in Ghana. Build the biggest orphanage. Build the biggest orphanage in Ghana. How many pastors will rise up and say, Oh God, I bless me. I have built the biggest orphanage. I'm going to use church offering to feed these children till my death. How many of them can you see? How many? They have ten ten thousand dollars in their account. It is resting. The poor tomato seller that is finding it difficult to feed their children three square meal a day, they will still squeeze their hand and take the little they have. Go to punish you people. It is better you rise up and clean the church of Christ. It is better you people rise up and clean the church of Christ. That filthiness in that church, that day, you regret. When God begins to strike, you regret. Private jets. Private island, taking prostitute on a pole. Many of these rape queens, they are dating your purpose. 
Many of these three queens who do not respect anything on earth, they are dating your purpose, your prophet one, your prophet two. Your tithe is what they are used to. They are spending in Dubai. Your offering is what they are spending on Dubai. So instead of you to rise up and do the things that God has called you, go and visit the widows yourself. Go and visit the orphans yourself. Do not tell my papa I will pay tithe. My papa will give to widows. Mm -mm. How many of your churches remember widows? There are widows in the church. There are widows crying. Nobody. Recently, there is a lady. One of her sisters, she sent clothing from UK. She sent clothing. She said, oh, I and you, you know, we have the same structure. So I put clothing for you. I said, okay, just put it there. When I go, I'll wear to the glory of God. I was there and my peer called me and said, sister, this woman, there is a woman of God that her house has burned. And the church that she attend, they are making mockery of her. Nobody is, uh, is ready to, to assist her. So I want her to come and take the long gun because it is hers. I said, let her take it. Let her take it. Maybe that is the reason why God touched the heart of that woman to bring. She is the one to take it. Let her take it. Let her take it. The church, God is angry and God is bitter inside. Because of the things that we cannot do. We can't do. Many of us also, when you give, you only give me this, and today it is on my neck, you want the whole world to know that you gave it to me. God is not pleased with that. God is not pleased with that. He said, when you do charity, let not your right hand see what your left hand is doing. Let not your right hand see what your left hand is doing. We post many of our donations that we do purposely for help. For people to come and support our vision and our dream. But our private deeds that we do, we don't post it. You just sent your 10, your 20, nobody knows you. It is private. I, your name is not written anywhere. Your name, I didn't mention you. I didn't call you and say, oh, so, so, and so. I will sit on the FM station and say, oh, this crowd, uh, it is so, so, and so that brought from United States of America to give to the widows. There is no glory. There is no glory. I must hide it as a secret so that your, your God, your father that can see secret will see it and bless you. Yes. So when you do good, don't sound the trumpet. When you help the poor in your church, when you give them your clothing and if somebody sees the clothing and asks you, please, are you the one that give this beautiful clothing? It's a specific one. Why should you give to this? And me? Will I give this to her? Pretend as if you are not the one that did it. Pretend that person is the enemy sent to steal the blessing that you receive from that thing. Don't sound the trumpet. If you give shoes to the poor in the church, somebody that have just come to Christ without clothing, without shoes, don't sound the trumpet, please. And God Almighty will bless you. Anybody that gives will never lack. You and your generation will never lack. So when you do it, do not sound the trumpet. They are not caring for them. The church, that is our responsibility. Everybody, this week, after the program, I want you all to start reading the book of Acts. Start reading the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles. You know the deeds, what the apostles did, that made them. When we say Peter stands somewhere and can pull 3,000 crowd, it was this. It was this. And we must learn from them. We must follow their footsteps so that we can praise our maker. So that when we die today, we will never feel bad. When we do all these things and we die today, ah, heaven will welcome us. They will welcome us. God will welcome us. Many of you, you are giving to churches that they don't even need your money. You are giving to churches that they do not need it. The churches that need your support, you will never support them. And they think God will bless you. Those that need instrument, just instrument to preach, you will never support them. You will never. You go and give to those that they do not need. Those that they will take and give to three queens. And you are expecting God to bless you. God will never bless you. God will never bless you that way. Do it. Do it. Our last Bible verse. Luke chapter 12 verse 14. 
and we begin to pray. We will pray 15 minutes and we will go. Please, if you have not shared the broadcast, share it for me. Share it for me, please. Share it for me. Luke chapter 12. Let me see. <coughs> This scripture always keep me. It said, "When you, when you, when you organize a party or any adulting, do not call those that they, that they will also get food or they will get something to invite you, but call them that do not have anything to give to you. For them, when they go down their knee, they will bless God for your life." Luke fourteen verse twelve. Luke chapter 14, verse number 12. It said, Then said he also to him that bade him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bide thee again, and a recompense be made thee. But thou, he said, But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind. And thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. The resurrection of the just. The day that everybody is hopeless, it is there that your deeds will speak for you. It is there that the trumpet will sound, pa, 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 that you see people running because they are not able to make it. It is that day that your deeds on earth will speak for you. The resurrection of the just. The day that people will rise up from their grave. They will hear the trumpet and they will rise to meet. Our soon coming king in the sky. It is that day that every donation that you are doing on the altar of Gega, you will remember. It is the day, that day, that every contribution that you've done, you've contributed towards the life of the widows, the orphans, the, the maimed. You know, anything that you have done, it is that day that you jubilate. It is biblical. You see, when thou shall, you see, and thou shall be blessed. For they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. May you be remembered on that day. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you never get tired in doing good on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, from today, may God help you to win souls through touching lives. May God assist you this month of December. May God make a way for you. May God help you. Help you to help others. May God help you to help others. One of my prayer points in the year 2020, I said, God, help me to help others. I did not understand the meaning of that, that, that prayer point, but it just came in my mouth. So I began to pray, Lord, help me to help others. Lord, help me to help others. Father, help me to help others. It is there that God said, I am calling people from the four corners of the earth to come and support your vision. To come and support your vision. When I started the donation, I didn't have hope. Just imagine a poor person. If you mean I struggle to feed and I'm giving. If it's not God, who can do it? It is God because he said, I'm calling people from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. And they will come and support that thing that you are doing. Go and push it. May God help you to help others. This month of December, if you are hopeless, may God give you hope put, to put hope in the, in the heart of people. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God give you long life to fulfill, to do, to be the doer of every word that you have heard on the altar of Gagal. May God strengthen you in the name of Jesus Christ. May God lead you in everything that you want to do. Everything that you want to do. May God give you the strength. May God give you the strength. May you receive the favor. If you suppose. If it is supposed to come from the outside, may God call people from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west to visit you and help you to achieve your dream in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hand and say, Lord God Almighty, today I have heard the truth. Forgive me where I have wrong. 
Forgive me where I was not able to do it right. Maybe I have been doing it, but I've not been doing it right. Forgive me this day. Father, forgive me. Forgive me and help me to be able to do it right. Help me. Help me. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. She was blessed. You are blessed, yes. God willing, tomorrow we will not come. The next day we are here. Tomorrow, I know many of us, we are tired. We need to rest. So when you are free and you want to pray, just log into one of the prayers. Just begin to pray. Just log in. You can go to YouTube. Those that you can't catch us live. Please, after we finish here, we upload on YouTube so you can watch it on YouTube. You search Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. Appear is A-P-P-I-A-H. Precious is P-R-E-C-I-O-U-S. Precious Appear Gifting Ministries. When you search it on YouTube, subscribe and click on the bell. As soon as we come live and we finish and we upload there, you can get it and you, you can watch it when you are busy sleeping. When you are sleeping or when you are returning from work, just watch it, meditate, join us in prayers. I know many of you, your, your job schedule is keeping you so tight. Money to get access to listening to the word of God and also do your work. I'm a shakala in Saudi Arabia that I'm doing what I'm doing. I have told God I will never choose my work over your work. Because I do not want to go and stay home to be a false prophet, duping people, for, uh, staging false miracles, I have decided to work, to put food on my table and my children's table, to support ministry and to support others. The Bible says a hand that does not work must not eat. We must work. We must work. So you must schedule if you drive. One and a half hour to come home. Use that one and a half hour to listen. Pray as you are driving. You are meditating. You have your hair set in your ears. You are meditating. You are praying. As soon as you come home, you, you take your bath. You take your food. You eat. You sleep. You prepare for the next job or for the next hours. Just schedule it. You can do it. The time that you used to gossip, the time that you used to pick on necessary call, cast all this time away. You sit to study the Bible, listen to prayers, listen to teachings, listen to advice. There are so many things you do not know. The more we speak, the more you get advice, you get more things to build your life. Do it. I want us to pray three prayer points and we go. I want us to pray three prayer points and we go. <coughs> this man, God is going to bless many of us. Yes. Many of us, God is going to bless us. Yes. God is going to bless us because yesterday, let me tell you one thing that God revealed to me. After the midnight prayers, I saw granite. Some people call it peanut. The one that they have uprooted from the farm. It was flesh. Granite, and you were re you were opening it. You were re re you were removing the, the the seed, yes, from the shells. And granite is blessing. It is money. It is money. Yes, it is money. So this month, God is going to bless many of us. Anything that we do in this ministry, take part. God is going to bless us. That peanut or that granite is for the church. Because you have listened to the voice of God. Many have started changing their clothes that I can see in dreams. Many have started throwing away so many things that they didn't know it is not good to wear as a believer. Many have started changing. And when you start this changing, God visits you because you are a doer of the word, not only a listener of the word. Lift up your hand and say, Lord God Almighty, as you have entered a new month, I close that old chapter. Every old chapter that was being opened up to me by the enemy. Today, as we enter a new month, as we have begun a new month, I close every old chapter. Every old chapter. Old chapter of disgrace. Old chapter of being rebellious. Old chapter of being blasphemer. Old chapter of being a, 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 a extortioner or addicted or a drunkard. Lord God Almighty, let all these old chapters be closed. Let it be shut. Let it be shut. Let let it be shut. Let it be shut. Let everything 
that I have been battling from generally to now, let it be kept at my back. Let it go back. Let it be closed. I close every old chapter. Every old chapter. Every old chapter. Let it be closed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty, open a new chapter of breakthrough. A new chapter of breakthrough. A new chapter of success, a new chapter of fame, a, a, a fame, a new chapter of glory, a new chapter of favor. Open a new chapter unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty, this month, anybody that will use me as a target, as you have forgiven me my sins, Father, strike them. Any power that will come after me or come after my children as I have accepted you as I have put in my trust in you anybody that will rise to devise my head anybody that will rise to pull me backward in the name of Jesus Christ let your angels that you have assigned for me father let them meet them let them meet them let them meet them any dog any cat any cobra any viper that will come on my way to make me fall to push me backward to break me to fight me to stop me in the name of Jesus Christ Lord God Almighty let your angels rise up and strike Strike them and strike them and strike them. Let your angels rise up and strike them in the name of Jesus Christ. Any arrows released to destroy me, any arrows released to attack me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it backfire, let it backfire. Every attack released from the pit of hell, from the evil kingdom, from the kingdoms of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord God Almighty. Any kingdom that they are calling my soul. Any dark kingdom that they are calling my soul. Or calling the soul of my children. Calling the soul of my sons and daughters. My grandchildren. Let that kingdom be consumed by fire now. Let that kingdom be consumed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that kingdom be consumed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every kingdom that they are calling my name or calling the name of my children or my grandchildren or my brothers and sisters, let that kingdom catch fire. 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 Let every demonic kingdom that you are calling my soul, calling my name, calling my name, releasing attack, planning to fight me, planning to stop me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that kingdom scatter, 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 scatter. Let Kabiande makapa ya dosam. Let the power masun diamond. So broke to let anywhere that you are preparing. Oh my God. They are preparing to put me in a casket in that kingdom to bury me alive, to bury my son alive, to bury my parents, to bury my business, to bury my ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it catch fire, 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 let it let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let so broke to the antar mama kapam, le antar mama kabiande, makapa ya dosam, le antorpo masunda yama. We declare by power given to us today that every kingdom, every kingdom that has been fighting us from January to now is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken. We declare by the authority given to us on this day. Oh my God, that every power. That has been contending with us from January to now is broken like the 
the dragon, like the dragon, like the dragon, like the dragon. It is broken, it is broken, it is broken. He got the bone, zebra and then, rabababa, let cabi and then, makapaya dosam. We declare by power and authority that it is broken, 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 it is broken. We declare the kingdom of darkness is broken. We declare satanic kingdom is broken. We declare demonic kingdom is broken. We declare Jericho's is falling. We declare races, races, races have been patterned. Is patterned, is patterned, is patterned by power and authority. Right now, right now, he cut that double. See, pray and then. We declare every challenges, every trial that we are going through, it is over. We declare every battle that has been draining us from generally to now. Yeah, it is over. It is over. It is over. Every battle, it is over. Every battle, it is over. Every battle, it is over. Every challenge, it is over. Every sickness, it is over. We declare by power and authority today it is broken. It is broken. We are free. We declare freedom. We declare liberation. We declare breakthrough. We declare. We declare divine interventions. We declare divine vindications. We declare divine escape. Divine escape. Divine escape. Divine escape. Divine escape from all snails. All traps we declare we've escaped, we've escaped, we've escaped. Our sons have escaped, our sisters have escaped, our brothers have escaped, our parents have escaped. Every trap, every smell, every smell, every smell. He cut that double. See, pray and then we declare what the enemy sent on our way to scatter our family, to break our family into pieces. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken. We declare by power and authority. It is broken. We declare by power and authority. It is broken. It is broken. That confusion that they sent, ah, it has gone back to the center, that stroke, that sickness, headache, stomach pain, knee pain, joint pain, we declare, it is off, 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 of your children, of your husband, of your children, it is off, of your children, of your children, of your sons, of your daughters, of your husband, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, any charm that they released to to track you, to paralyze you, any power that was sent from the camp of the beast, from the kingdom of the monster, from the kingdom of the zebras, from the kingdom of the mantras that attack in the name of Jesus Christ. It is broken. It is broken. It is destroyed. It is destroyed. We declare by power and authority. Our ways are straightened today. Our light is shining. Our stars are brightening in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let Kabiande Makapayadosa. Len Dorobo Masun Diamond. So broke to Lian Dharma Makapan. Lian Dharma Makabiande. Take a water for me. Take water right now. Thank you, Jesus. Take water right now. Yes. Take water right now for me. Please. Today is a new month. People have taken contract. People have made a vow. People have made a vow. 
People have already burned themselves in an oath to make sure December doesn't end while we are still alive. To make sure December doesn't end while we still have the mouth to speak. Put the water in your hand and say, Lord God Almighty, today I summon anybody that has vowed to make this de December be a month of disaster in my life. Listen well. Lord God Almighty, I summon anybody that has vowed to make sure this December becomes a month of disaster in my life. I summon that person. If the person deserves to die through accident, send your car from your kingdom. As the witches have been sending their cars from their kingdom to crush us, as the, as the quartic people have been sending their heavy duty truck, heavy duty cargoes, to come and summer salt on us in our dreams, Father Lord Jesus Christ, send your heavy duty cargo. Let it drag that person wherever he or she is. In the name of Jesus Christ, where they are going to make that incantation, where they are going to consult that their oracle, where they are going to consult that their babalao, where they are going to visit that their sangoma, Father, command your heavy duty cargo, meet them on their way, clash them in the name of Jesus Christ, clash them in the name of Jesus Christ, clash them in the name of Jesus Christ, where they are going, that they have sworn that when they go and they do not finish you, they will never return. This water in your hand. This water in your hand. When they go on their way going, any water that they will drink, on their way visiting that babalao, visiting that native doctor, visiting that shrine, visiting that awkward pastor, visiting that satanic priest, in the name of Jesus Christ, when they drink water, let the water choke them, let it choke them, let it choke them, let it choke them, let it choke them. Let it choke them. This water in our hand, Lord God Almighty, anybody born of flesh and blood, that drink water that was sitting in their room to conspire evil about me that was sitting in their room to plan disgrace about me this this month of december and the remaining the, the year ahead of us this year and the year 2022 father i summon that person before you if that person drinks water hey let that water be a disease an implant, let it be a poison, let it be a bomb, let it explode. Anybody that will sit in their chambers, anybody that will sit in a bathroom naked to call my name or call my husband's name or call my wife's name or call my brother's and sister's name to make sure they fail in destiny to make sure they become a disgrace and a burden to make sure they do not fulfill destiny lord god almighty this water in my hand i summon them i summon them i summon them i summon them anytime they drink water let judgment begins Anytime they take water to drink, let their judgment begins. People that have vowed not to let us see development in our life. Not to let us see progress. When we go, they come before us and cross our way. When we are trying to make a way out, they block the way. They assign military men. They assign policemen, they assign armed robbers, they assign tall boot men, they assign all kinds of witches and wizards. There is a personality behind the scene doing this. There is a personality behind the scene, behind the scene doing this. Father, you know the scene, you know those behind bars fighting us. You know those behind the scene doing all these things to us. Father Lord Jesus Christ, wherever they will take water and drink, let their judgment begins. Anytime they take water to drink, let their judgment begins. In your kingdom, in your kingdom, in your sight, let their judgment begins. When they take water, those with fake account, you see they started going, you can't stand. You can't stand. You think you are joking. <laughs> 
those that have been watching with fake accounts, they started going. They can't stand and it is going to work. It is going to work. This works. Nobody can reverse it except we that, that bond it. We that bond it because we are sealing it with the blood of Jesus Christ. We are sealing it with the blood of Jesus Christ. Enough is enough. Behind the scene, they are behind the scene, behind bars. Those that have their influence, those that have their crowd, those that have their congregation that have vowed to themselves not to let us survive, not to let us have peace, not to let us develop or increase, not to let our marriage have peace, not to let our ministry have peace. Father, wherever they will stand, if they are in the north, south, east, the west, we summon them this day before the altar of Gagal. We summon them, Lord God Almighty, pass judgment. Anytime they drink water, let their judgment begin. When they drink water, oh Lord, let their judgment begin in your presence. Vengeance belongs to you. Vengeance belongs to you, Lord. Vengeance belongs to you, Lord. Pass judgment. You say we should cast it before you. We shouldn't avenge on our enemies. We should deliver them in your hands. That is why we are summoning them today before you. That is why we are summoning them, Elohim. That is why we are summoning them, Adonai. We do not want to avenge them. They've been striving with us. They've been contending with us from January to now. Father, those that need them to be paralyzed, as they take water, instantly let them paralyze. The hands that they are using, the hands, the legs that they are using to visit so many secret places, the leg that they are using to cast spells, to make incantation, to recite words, the mouth that they used to recite words, let that mouth be silenced forever. Put a padlock on that mouth, put a chain on that mouth, close that mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. When they visit the shrine, when they visit the shrine, when they visit the Babalawo, let their voice never be heard by their spiritualists. Let their spiritualists, let their spiritual fathers, their spiritual mothers from the evil kingdom, from the dark kingdom that are supporting them to do evil, to real life, to destroy destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them all bend together, bond them together. When they take water, Elohim, let their judgment begins. Let their judgment begins. Let their judgment begins. Let their judgment begins. We summon them this day. Let December be a peaceful month for us. Let December be a joyful month for us. Let December, let our children get their freedom. Let our children be delivered from all attacks. Let their arrows that they've been throwing on our children, their attacks on our children, we summon them all, oh Lord. We summon them, O 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 oh Lord. We summon them before you. We summon them before you. We summon them before you. Pass judgment for us. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. The one fighting your finances. The one that has been setting fire in every money that touches your hand. Say, Lord God Almighty, I summon this person. Lord God Almighty, I summon this person. I summon this person. I summon this person. The one that has been burning every money that stays in my hands. Every money that touches in my hands. Lord God Almighty, this water in my hands. I summon them. I summon them. Pass judgment. This day, oh Lord, pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for me. Yes, pass judgment. We need judgment. We need judgment. We need judgment. December, Father, we do not want to enter 2022 without we seeing what we desire on our enemies. We do not want to enter 2022 without you, Father, passing judgment for us. Pass judgment. Pass judgment. Pass judgment for my children. My children have been humiliated 
They've been intimidated. They've been restricted for long. The person that has been restricting my children from getting job with their qualification, from getting job with their qualification, Lord God Almighty, today I sermon them. I sermon them. Pass judgment for me. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our desires. Our desires. Those that have set a trap. Waiting for us to fall into. Father, when you pass judgment. Let them fall into their own trap. Those that have set a trap. For us to fall into in this month of December, Father, we sermon them when you pass judgment, Lord. After the judgment, put them into the trap that they laid, the trap they set. As your word have declared that the hidden have been fallen into the trap that they laid, the net that they set have grabbed their own legs. Father, let your ways that you have declared in your scripture. When you pass judgment, let it manifest in their life. Let it manifest in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it manifest in their life. <clears throat> let those holding tight. Things that belongs to us. Things that belongs to our children. Things that belongs to our family. Those that have taken it and they are seated on it. Those that have taken it and have vowed not to let us enjoy it. The blessings that you gave to us. Those that have taken it and are sitting on it. We summon them this day. Anytime they take water, let their judgment begin. Let their judgment begin. Anytime that they drink water, let their judgment begin. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let their judgment begin. Let their judgment begin. When they take water, let judgment, let that day be the day of their judgment. Let that day be a day, a day that you judge everything that they've done against us. Everything that they are holding against us. Everything that they are still keeping against us. Father, we summon them. We summon them this day. We have no power. We have no body except you, Elohim. We don't believe in anything except you, the Holy One of Israel. That is why we've come to you today being the beginning of a new month. The beginning of the month of joy. The beginning of the month of celebration. The beginning of the month of jubilation. Father, we are before you. We are summoning those that do not want that jubilation and that celebration to manifest. Those that want to turn the celebration to funeral. Those that want to turn it to disgrace. Those that want to turn our glory to shame. Those that want to turn our elevation to backwardness. Our promotion. Those that want to turn it. We summon them in this month. Pass judgment for us. Pass judgment for us. Pass judgment for us. Pass judgment for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pass judgment. Speak your heart. Anything happening in your, in your life, speak it. Summon them. Speak it. Summon them. Summon them. Summon them. Summon them. Summon them. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Drink your water. That is all. You finish. You finish. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are waiting, Lord God Almighty, for the manifestation of our prayers. These three days, Father, whatever that you prepared for us, whatever blessing that you prepared, release it now. As you are about to move from here, put it in our hands. We receive it now. Every blessing that you prepared for us, 
Lord God Almighty, we receive it now. 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 In Jesus Christ, mighty name, I pray for you all. Amen. God bless you. God willing, tomorrow once again we will not meet. The next day we will come. God willing, to, tomorrow in the night we will not come. We need to rest. The next day we will meet again. The next day. The time that we come, you know, it is um um 10:45 p.m. GMT. United States of America is uh 5:45 in the evening. United Kingdom is 10:45. Um, help me. Um, where are you? Where are you? Let uh. Let us know where you are connecting that you need the time. The, the people there will send you the time. Let us know where you are connecting us from that you want the time, the time for meeting. Where you are connecting us from. Let us know where you are connecting us from. If you want the time of meeting at your end, please type for us two minutes. Type it. Uh, Italy. Please, Italy, what is the time? Those connecting from Italy, help them for me. Help him for me, please. Those connecting from Italy, somebody reply him the time for meeting. The time for meeting, it is 10.45 p.m. UK time. 10.45 p.m. UK time. Yes, uh, SA is 12.45. Yes, 0.045. If you are connecting from South Africa, it is okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Germany is 11.30 p.m. God bless you. Nigeria is 11.45 p.m. God bless you. South Africa meeting time is... is uh, 0045 midnight that is 1245 uh, Kenya is 145 a.m Ghana is 10 1045 a.m Saudi Arabia if you're connecting from Saudi Arabia it is 145 a.m the same as Kenya time if you are connecting from um 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 which one which uh, I forget UK is 1045 p.m yes 10.45 p.m. Those connecting from UK. The starting time is 10.45 p.m. Please, Namibia is 12.45 a.m. If you are connecting from Namibia, it is 12.45 a.m. United States of America is 5.45 p.m. In the evening. Yes, in the evening. So please, know the meeting time. Join prayers. God will bless you. Madam Evren, good night to extend my greetings to my father for me and my brothers god bless you all god bless you all let me make the announcement so that if you want to take part this december christmas you want to bless the life of widows this christmas you want to make widows smile widows it is widows time italy is 11 45 pm okay okay namibia and south africa you use the same time god bless you for helping me God bless you, yes. We are blessing widows. Every widow, we are going to give a package. A package or an amount of $100. It is family, family, family by family. So if you can stand for your family, you and your father's children, we want to bless five widows. We want to bless two widows, me and my family. We are doing this ahead of 2022. Whatever that is on the way coming, God should base on this thing that I'm sowing. God should help me and my family out. Whatever <laughs> disease, virus, now there is, they are saying there is a new COVID. I, I can't even mention the name, which is stronger and mightier than COVID-19. It has just started. We don't know what is in 2022. We are doing something that should in case any bad thing happen heaven will remember that thing that we did in the life of widows and cause us to escape that is the meaning of this thing that we are going to do it is only widows it is only widows so if you want to bless two widows you are going to pay 200 dollars you can pay you can do it in you can put in the kenya donation or foundation account org nigeria foundation whatever you want to do it we want to bless widows that is the mission we want to bless widows if you want to pay to the nigerian account we use them if you want south africa you use them if you want um 
Kenya you use there. If you want World Remit, Sandwave, MoneyGram, Western Union, Rea, PayPal, any of the medium that you want, just let us know. If, if only you have within your heart that you want to go with us, you and your family, you and your family, it's like a covenant seed. It is like a covenant seed. Though we are not going to give to a church, but the people are the church. The widows, they are also a church. So we are sowing covenant seed on behalf of these widows. That God should see us through. The year 2022, he should make it be easier for us. He should give us breakthrough in the year 2022. So if you want to take part, maybe today is your first time. Let me put the WhatsApp number. For any details, just WhatsApp me, plus 233-544-9472. Seven two seven three plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three. I'm in Saudi Arabia now. I'm in Saudi Arabia, but we have foundation in Kenya, we have foundation in Nigeria, we have one in Ghana, we have one in Zambia, we have one in Namibia, we have one in South Africa. So whatever you want to donate, just do it. We will give to widows. We will give to widows at least, at least bless one widow, hundred dollar. Just do it, hundred dollars. Just do it. If you can bless one person, depending on your strength, we are not manipulating you. We are not forcing anybody to come and give thousand. If you and your family you can afford. Ten widows, it is you have decided, not I'm forcing you. I and my family, we have decided that my father's children, we have five girls, five boys. Though we have lost our two sisters, two is gone, but we are still left with eight. But we are going to give ten widows. We have decided. So you and your brothers and your sisters, you can decide. We want to bless them. We want to do this. That in difficult time, God will remember the Apia family. Yes, that is the meaning of this covenant seed that we are doing for the widows. And we need to have it by the 24th, we must start giving to them. 24th is the boss in day. 24th is boss in day. That is where we give all gifts. We visit loved ones. So by 20th, if you take part, let us have it. If you know you take part by 20th, let us have it. So that 24th, we can distribute in various places. Those that need items, you buy items for them. Those that need the money in an envelope, you put in an envelope and you give to them. Yes, that is our mission. And we finish 2021. God bless you. Lift up your hands as we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me, God. Amen. Okay, 26th. I know it is from 24th. Well, me, <laughs> I don't know that too. You know, I'm in a country that we don't celebrate Christmas. So there are so many things about December, I don't know. Mm. I don't celebrate Christmas. Our, our calendar is different from the calendar that they use. Mm. So we will start from 24th. You know, we have to go to houses to houses. So we start from 24th, 25th, 26th. You have to go with those houses to houses. So it's not a small job, but we will bless them. We will bless them. So if you and your family, you and your children, you want to stand if you want to use you and your children, you can stand. If you want to use you and your brothers and sisters, you can stand. But it is better you use your father's surname, representing your father's seed. You know, when you sow seed for generation, all those that will bear the name of Apia, they will pass through that thing. He said, how do we send me to... So how do we send... South Africa and Zambia. We can give you the Zambia bank details or the South Africa. South Africa, we have Capitec. Please chat me on WhatsApp so that I will forward it to you on WhatsApp. 
Yes, if you need bank details in uh, Zambia, I will give you the details there. If you need Niger uh, Nigeria, I will give you U uh, UBA. If you want uh, uh, Namibia, I will give you. Kenya, we are using Impesa. The Impesa number will give you. So whatever you want to do, just send me a message on WhatsApp or Messenger. You can Messenger me. Send me a message on Messenger. I will forward it to you, please. Maybe when I come and check the uh, the comment section, it will never be there. Yes, so please. Uh, South Africa. Uh, yesterday she told me. I think it is one dollar is uh, fifteen thousand or sixteen thousand six hundred. Thousand six hundred South African rand. Yes, yes. Hundred dollars is thousand six hundred. So if you are paying in South African currency, it is going to be thousand six hundred per a widow. If you want to stand for two thousand five hundred and eighty nine, okay, thousand five hundred equivalent to thousand six hundred, because maybe you send they will take some part. They they will they will, they will take some. So um, thousand six hundred. If you want to give to one widow, that is the amount. Uh, Kenya is. 11,200 Kenyan shillings per widow. That is $100. It's 11,200 Kenyan shillings. Yes. If you are paying in Ghana currency, it is 500 and equivalent to 600. Let me put it that way. 600 Ghana cities. Yes. So 580 or 85. Yes. So just do it. Stand for you and your family. Show something. That your generation will grow to benefit from it. Use your father's name to do it. Anybody that will born, that even grandchildren, that will come with that name, this thing will be activated in their life. Yes. This thing will be activated in their life. Nobody is planning to be a widow. Or nobody is praying to be a widower. But it is part of life. In the journey of life, sometimes you receive things that you do not expect in your life. Things that you do not even want to hear is what comes in your way. So as we prepare, we prepare, yes, towards it. When it happens to us, people will also come to our aid because you visited the life of others. God bless you. God bless you. Let's share the grace and go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me God. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. Shalom.